Uh, I want to welcome and congratulate the folks from Black Mirror, one of my favorite shows on television. And I, I'm a little jealous this year because the storytelling format that you utilized in Bandersnatch. Several years ago, I remember thinking, we've got online streaming now, the ability to choose your own adventure. I was a big fan of those choose your own adventure books as a kid. I thought we've got to be able to find a new way to tell the story. And it just seemed like it took a while for someone to make it work. Monumental task, though, to pull it off. Why didn't you come to us earlier? <laughs> well, I'm just come me. On. You know, it's one of those ideas like Are in you Seinfeld. This is your idea. I, w I think I need a statuette. I think that's what I'm saying. I've been doing this long enough. Let's, you know. Um, but hey, kudos to pulling it off because I cannot imagine how difficult it is to break out the story, to make sure you get all the details correct. How tough of a task was that? It was very hard. It sort of starts like, first of all, I, so I, I wrote it. I had to learn um, like a coding language to write even the story outline, which would crash sometimes. That was quite weird. Okay. And then slowly that craziness kind of infected everyone on the production. Annabelle and Russ here, the producer, David Slade, the director. I mean, like everyone on the actors, everyone was having to constantly do a kind of four dimensional Rubik's cube in their mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. So it was a yeah. monumental task. It really was. I would. We all, yeah, we uh, all had our breakdowns. Yeah. yeah. Anyone yeah. contemplating it, just run away. Yeah. Right. But we right. should. <laughs> you know, what you're telling me is it really wasn't my idea. You guys are the ones that ran, <laughs> ran away that made it work. Uh, I, I do think every season I watch your show. I'm blown away by the creative ways you're able to put a spin on the world that we live in now. And I think, well, certainly th there's no more ideas. They've done them all. <laughs> and yet you still continue to come up with them. How you much is that a challenge to keep can coming you up? not with say that to Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise yeah, don't say I'm that. seeing 20 years of, of yeah, I mean, Black I mean, Mirror. I, I, I thought you were going to say the opposite. We I'm blown away by how so you keep doing ideas. it. We are in competition. That's why you're in the job you're in and I'm in the job I'm in. We are in competition with the news, but we're hoping the news gets canceled. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then we can be the scariest thing on TV. So. Yeah. But how hard is that to keep coming up with new stories to tell and creative ways to tell them? Um, it's tricky, but then on the other hand, I mean, there's like, weirdly, the, the weirder the world gets, I think, the more there is an appetite for seeing kind of fairly out there ideas and stories. So in that respect, it helps. Yeah. And also, it's, a, it's now become a happy respite from, <laughs> from current affairs, <laughs> our, our yeah. little production. Yeah, yeah. we're not feel good. Yeah, we're yeah. feel good TV. Feel good. Toe tapping feel good TV. If anything, it's a testing ground for new ideas. Whenever you hear a tech company announce something crazy, I'm like, hmm, if Black Mirror were to test this out, how would it work? Okay. Okay, yes or no, then this, this idea can flow. I, would, I heard that they have what they call the, the red team on, in tech companies, that, that, that they, they sort of, they kind of brainstorm Black Mirror style ideas mm -hmm. to see if their technology could be misused in some way. And then, as far as I can tell, just steer heavily towards it uh, and make sure it happens. We should hire those people. We should be yeah. hiring those people. Yeah. Let's fire ourselves <laughs> and hire them. There's probably an app for that now. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, nevertheless, congratulations again on another stellar episode, another stellar season. Thanks. Big fan of your work and your shows, and I hope uh, you guys have many more years on Netflix to bring home even more Emmy Awards. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. guys. Thank you, Cheers. Thank you very much. All right, let's send it back over to Albert Lawrence, who's backstage.